So in this segment, once again, we are going to be talking about the British ob obsession with the Nazis. Um, well, not really, but w we are kind of. Um, so, you know, the uh, a QC for the DUP has said Northern Ireland Protocol is like Vichy regime, court is told. So for anyone who doesn't know, um, this was the um, Nazi... Um, v Vichy France was kind of the Nazi occupied France you know the French administration during Nazi occupation you know we've already heard that they've compared um, the uh, what do you call it the what happened in Jersey uh, with the Nazis saying that at least when the Nazis invaded Jersey they kept the lights on talking about you know the French threatening to turn off electricity um, to Jersey why, why are people in this country so obsessed with the Nazis I don't get it I just it's so stupid. There's some real dodos in this country. It really annoys me. So the operation of the Northern Ireland Protocol has been likened to the Vichy regime during a legal challenge at the High Court in Belfast. Yeah, what, what do you expect the judge is going to say? Oh, you know what? Yeah, it kind of is like Vichy France, you know. Um, yeah, I, I rule in favour of um, the DUP. Absolute clown, man. The, the amount of like reaching these people are doing is just painful. Vichy was the co a collaborationist French administration. Um, John Larkin QC made the analogy in his opening argument on behalf of the unionist politicians, most likely the DEP. Um, he was referring to part of the protocol which says UK officials should carry out border controls when asked by the EU. So he's saying that, oh, you know, the um, the EU have, you know, the you know, we know when the Germans, you know, took over France, the Nazis took over France. Um, what do you call it? You know, they did so through force. But now that this guy is, looks like he's arguing that the EU are so OP and they're so strong that without even you know firing a bullet, without even threatening us, you know, they've managed to force the UK to do border checks in the Irish Sea. That's how strong the EU are. That we're going to take on an entity so powerful that without using any actual force, they've managed to force us to do something we didn't want to do. Despite the fact that Boris Johnson's government. Um, ran a general election campaign on this oven ready deal which included the Northern Ireland Protocol or did you forget that? So I guess I guess in your analogy in this analogy Boris Johnson would be a Nazi collaborator correct? So stupid He was referring to part of the protocol we mentioned that the protocol is part of the Brexit deal which creates a trade border between uh, Northern Ireland and Great Britain Article 12 of the protocol describes how it should be applied and enforced um, We know there are some issues with the um, with the protocol where it talks about like Sainsbury's bread having to be checked and all this stuff, despite the fact that there's no Sainsbury's um, um, in the Republic of Ireland. At least that's what I read, but I couldn't find that article, so that's annoying. Um, one part of the article says, where the EU representative requests the authorities of the UK to carry out control measures in individual cases for the duly stated reasons, the authorities of the UK shall carry out those controlled measures. This is something the UK agreed to, by the way. You know, this section, Mr. Larkin likened to Vichy France. You do realise when that administration was forced on the French, um, they did, it was through force, right? You didn't, the French one like, yo, yo, Adolf, come in, bro. Come in. Oh, yeah, you want us to run this administration? Cool. You know, we're going to run a general election on this and see what the people of France think. It was done through force, like actual military force, you know, tanks, planes, guns, the lot. Like the, this QC, Mr. Larkin, just, he's just an idiot. Unionist leaders who have taken the case say that the protocol is unlawful because it breaches the Acts of Union and the 1998 Good Friday Agreement. So you're telling me that Boris Johnson has agreed and ran a general election based on um, an act, based on you know an agreement that would break the Good Friday Agreement and the Acts of Union. Is that how bad Boris Johnson is? Because I don't think these people have the legs to do it because considering the EU and the UK would have, you know, lawyers that would look into this sort of stuff. But who knows at this point. Much of Mr Larkin's opening argument focused on the acts of union which created the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland in 1800. He focused on Article 6, which formed a customs union between uh, Britain and Ireland. So it's going to be interesting to see, you know, what comes of this bit. Um... He said the protocol breaches that by leaving Northern Ireland inside the EU's customs union, which we know the Northern Ireland protocol does. So it's going to be interesting to see if um, this law from 1800 is going to have any impact on the um, the Northern Ireland protocol. It's going to be fun. He read from an affidavit from um, outgoing leader Arlene Foster, which stated the government has no, had no power to make any agreement that treats the acts of union as if they don't exist. I mean, the government can get rid of the act of union, can't it? 
I mean, legally they can pass legislation that could circumvent it. So I get, I, I don't know. I'm not a legal expert, but it's just the arguments these people are making are just ridiculous. Larkin gave a close reading of parts of the Northern Ireland Protocol, which deals with trade, taxation, and state aid. He said that although the protocol states that Northern Ireland is part of the customs territory of the UK, this is not the case in practice. And to be fair, he's not wrong in practice. Uh, Northern Ireland is part of the EU's customs um, union when it comes to goods, as far as I know of. Despite the headline in Article 4, it is abundantly clear that Northern Ireland is in the EU's customs union, he told the court. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Mr Larkin looked at, uh, at Section 1 of the Act, which states that Northern Ireland in its entirety remains part of the UK unless a majority of people vote otherwise in a referendum, which could potentially happen at some point during our lifetimes. Um, you know, I, th I think people are saying between 10 and 25 years this could happen, which would be very interesting. So his argument is that obviously this, this kind of referendum hasn't happened and therefore to take the uh, to take Northern Ireland out of the UK's customs union would be illegal. At least that's my interpretation of what he's getting at. He said, if the power to make law for Northern Ireland can be given to Brussels, it can be legally given to the Irish Parliament. I mean, that's not really true, though, is it? Because the EU has to deal with any kind of agreements. You know, the EU aren't going to be like, uh, Brussels, uh, we're going to give that power over to um, Republic of Ireland. No, that's, that's not going to happen. It's a very stupid argument he's making here. You know, if the EU do you make changes to whatever their rules are around, you know, meats, dairy or whatever products that have to be checked that are sent from between Great Britain to um, Northern Ireland. Um, that's going to be done within the EU Parliament. It's not going to be that power is not going to be given to Ireland. It's a very stupid argument he's making, but he is he's reaching here. You know, he doesn't really have much to go on. Um, the case being heard by Mr. Justice um, Colton is scheduled to last up to four days. Reserve judgment is expected to be delivered in the next few months. The judgment is likely to be appealed and the case could ultimately be heard by the Supreme Court. I'm guessing that's by the British Supreme Court by the end of this year. The case will resume on Monday. So we haven't actually got any updates today um, so far. But, you know, the amount of ridiculous arguments these people are making. You know, the Northern Ireland Protocol makes the Belfast Agreement null and void. Are you telling me that Boris Johnson has violated the Good Friday Agreement? Because if that's the case, then, you know, the EU and um, the uh, US are guarantors of the Good Friday Agreement. So, you know, they're going to be getting involved. But hang on now. Isn't the Northern Ireland Protocol an agreement between the uk and the eu so it's going to get really really sketchy if this does you know breach the good friday agreement but the argument this man is making by comparing um uh by comparing um the northern ireland protocol to the um the forced nazi occupation of france is just one of the dumbest things i've ever read and the fact that the people within um within the uk are obsessed with the nazis is just unreal I genuinely don't understand why that people in this country are obsessed with Nazis. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.